this three days uh, workshop on evangelization gave me a deep experience of the presence of experience or the presence of the Holy Spirit in my life. I came here with a little bit of tension, but now I am free and I am happy. That is the first experience I got. Then I went for the counseling just to meet the brother, asked. I did not tell anything to brother. Brother prayed and told me two, three words of God, which was very apt to my problems. I need not to speak anything more to him, and he does not want to speak me more to me. That word of God cleared all my problems and difficulties with the tensions which I was undergoing. Then another thing I got, the method he used to teach us, that itself is an uh, example for me. That is the example I am taking from here, how to preach, how to give a talk, and which all the things we have to, uh, to refer to give a talk to a seminar or uh, anything that we are doing, uh, what we have to do in the mission. And that is an, a model for each one of us. I thank you for that. Uh, Thomas Paul. Then one of the two points that is uh, struck my life is that today's talk that if there is no listening and if there is no personal prayer, we are opening our mission and life for the evil to sow seeds. That word has uh, struck me so much. And uh, we are opening, and our church is empty. That is another word, small words, but it is struck my life. Our chapels and uh, churches are empty. And uh, if you are not praying, if you, are, if you have no personal prayer, if you have no perpetual adoration in our chapels, we are opening our mission and our life for the evil to sow seeds. Then another thing I was reflecting on, uh, what is my level of commitment? And we are speaking about commitment. I came, I became a, a missionary, I became a priest, I am working in, in Chanda. I felt that uh, we are doing, we are celebrating Mass, we are doing a lot of mission works, but uh, why, with what awareness I am doing all these things, what, my level of commitment, what is my level of commitment, I was reflecting over that. Then I got an inspiration, I needed to commit again more for the mission, for the evangelization in my life. Thank you, Brother Thomas Paul, for your effective and fruitful talk, uh, talks, and, uh, uh, talks and guiding us to experience the presence of God within us. Thank you very much.